everybody. So we are back home after vacation, adjusting okay. Christopher actually has been pretty awesome the whole time we've been back. So I guess he just hates vacations. That's why he's a little Mwah. That's my impression of him. Mwah. He's a pterodactyl. Mwah. Wow, I've never made that noise. I like it. I bet I could audition for Jurassic World 2 or Jurassic Universe, whatever they call it. Jurassic Jungle. Ooh, alliteration. I'm getting off track. So we are still getting back in the swing of things and it is date night tonight. So we're excited about that. And this is the second date night after I got my new job so we can start a little earlier. Yay. Still don't know if we have a sitter. Might be up in the air, but either way, it'll be a good day. Headed into work now. As if you were confused. You didn't expect me to say, headed to the gym, right? Because I'm fat. It is looking pretty nice outside. It's pretty great. I, I love it right now. I was supposed to be filming a project this weekend with some friends. Don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't know if we're ready. Like I got a lot of good ideas in my head, but if I don't organize them better, it doesn't work out. So we'll see what happens. July 4th is on a Monday too in America. We celebrate Leo. And that might be a good weekend to film so we have some more time to get things ready. I don't think the drone's gonna be ready in time and I kinda wanted to use that. A good friend of mine always says, hurry up and wait. When you're doing projects and when you're doing something you love, it's best to be patient and get used to waiting. Patience is a virtue as they say. I don't know who they are, but I think they know their stuff. Time for work. Parts. I am headed home now and I got off a little early always great when that happens unless I'm off for like hey you're bleeding to death go home I guess I would go to a hospital whatever I'd still count that as a win so we decided since it's an early date because I have an earlier schedule now that we are just gonna take Christopher with us so that should be fine fun family friendly all these F words but not the one you're thinking. Made it home, put on a nice wrinkly Iron Fist shirt. Isn't the irony, irony, look at that joke already, so many jokes, that the wrinkled shirt is for Iron Fist, and if I had an ironing fist, it'd be unwrinkled. Lauren, do you get it? I get it. Yeah. Christopher's getting all ready for date night. <laughs> Sun's out, gun's out. Although you're not really wearing a sleeveless. Yeah, but you're waving, that's fair. Look how big he's getting. We are checking out the happy hour at a pizza place that sounds like they give wings and pizza if you buy like at least one drink. So what all did you guys do today? We did a lot of stuff. You did a lot of stuff? What'd you do? We went to an open gym and the baby used a walker to walk all around the gym. He was very excited. Yeah. Then he took a long nap and then we went to our friend's house and played at their water table. To be a baby again, you go to a gym, you actually enjoy it there, and then take a nap, and then just get all wet. Man, what a life that must be. So, mommy made a mistake. This place with their deals is only on the bar side, and to my knowledge, bars are not very baby friendly. I just was thinking about us taking him to your dad, so I just didn't. Ah, we can still do that. No. All right. No big deal. We are gonna go, I think, to Applebee's, which also does a happy hour, but it would be more advantageous for children. And there's one right over here. So here we go, eating good in the neighborhood. That's what they used to say. Remember that? They don't say anymore. I don't know what they say anymore. They still good. Just go to Tim Hortons. F Tim Hortons. Sorry if you're a Tim Hortons fan. Or if you're Canadian, I didn't mean that, like, personally. I personally only like their donuts. I don't really like anything else they have. I drink their coffee, because Lauren loves it. And so sometimes I'll get it and I just need caffeine. I don't like coffee. I like the iced cap. Yes. They were the first iced cappuccino I ever had. So hats off to their ingenuity. Right? Hey, buddy. Did you bring your own food? Did you bring your own food? Look at that face. Mm. You want some milky? Mmm, good stuff. It's happy hour here at Applebee's, so we got a lot of food. I'm very excited about it because I eat a lot. You guys know this. This is not a surprise. Do you still eat a lot, sir? 
So this is borderline cruel, but we are gonna give Christopher a lemon and see how he reacts. All right, buddy. <laughs> you wanna try it again? He's going for it. <laughs> you wanna try he likes? All right, we're done. <laughs> the fact that he keeps letting me put it in his mouth is pretty great. Food has arrived and we may have gotten too much. We'll see. We got all this. It truly is a happy hour, isn't it, Christopher? Well, that was a filling dinner, to say the least. We got too much food. When does that happen? Oops. Oops, not an oops, we have leftovers. And Christopher liked the pretzel. And now we're headed home where dessert is waiting for us. And I don't just mean the dessert of a great night together. I mean actual ice cream. If you had to pick between no ice cream or no time with me, what would you pick? No time with you. Oh! If I didn't have you, I wouldn't have money to buy ice cream. That's right. So. I am your literal sugar daddy. Look at these two hanging out. Oh, precious. Puppy baby memories. Oh, Christopher, what are you doing? Christopher, get out from under him. He doesn't know what to do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Christopher, is it bedtime? Ike says no. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, you want to put your hands in the dog bowl? That's really gross. Is it time for bed? You don't think so? Can we put you to bed now? <coughs> Buddy, it's about your bedtime. Where are you going to run to? I, I'm much faster than you. Oh, Mommy ain't going to help you. Aww, he's cuddling. You going to fall asleep on Mommy? Aww. What's sweeter than that? A banana split. Can we go get one? So I found a toy that we got Christopher, and I think it's a little above his age group, but I think it's right around mine, so I will try to play the games on here, and you will get to see the fun that it is. Guess the letter! Okay. Watch the lights, and guess what letter they're making. All when right. you know the letter, touch the letter button to make your guess. All right, I get it. Ready? Here yes, I'm ready. That's an X. Push it, hurry. That's not an X. What the heck is that? I don't. That's a crazy letter. What is that? I. Push the letter. I. Wow. Good guessing. Yeah. Hey, I only had a few letters or dots. To write the letter I. I don't want to. When you're finished. I don't want to trace over it, so it'll probably just. Nice. Yeah. Thanks. Here we go. All right. All right, all right. It does come in pretty weirdly. It could be an A. That's an F. F. Keep guessing. Mother God. A. Keep guessing. B. B. It's the letter P. Oh. Oh my God. What's writing? I suck at letters. <laughs> hey, Lauren. The baby's asleep. You know what that means? To shoot this scene from a new perspective. I'm on the floor. I'm running out of ideas. I should have never picked a running gag. That is going to do it for us tonight, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Pretty weird getting back to just the regular vlogs and not being on vacation, but it feels kind of nice. feels good to get back in the mundanity. I don't think that's how you say that word, if it even is a word. Ugh. Classic me. Again, I don't think the project this weekend is actually going to come through just too many people out of town. It's not like a crazy big project. It was just like a short film. A sequel to our other hit, Detective Bash. So we will see you next time, and whatever, dude.